how India has just upgraded its air defense shield. India has achieved another significant milestone in the field of indigenous air defense systems. How we have moved from indigenous design to straight away global attention. Minus four, three, two, one. Now, second off. And how Akash NG missile systems mark a shift to network centric defense systems. When modern warfares are being increasingly decided by drones and cruise missiles which are flying just few meters above the ground, air defense is not optional, it is decisive. And this is where Akash NG missile system marks a strategic shift for us. Hello everyone, welcome to Vajram and Ravi's Flash News. My name is Shubhangi Singh and today we are going to understand in detail that why the evaluation trials of Akash NG missile system is of great significance, how it marks a huge change in terms of system innovation and what are the reasons that it is drawing global attention. So let us begin with understanding that what exactly is the trial that has been conducted. So when we talk about Akash NG, that is Akash Next Generation Missile System, it is an air defense system. That means if there is a system or a missile or something that is targeting on ground, so this surface air missile is going to intercept that. Now this evaluation trial has been done in a Chandipur integrated range test facility and this has been successful. Now the success of the evaluation trial marks that there is a proper operational performance and Akash NG is not something that is valid just for laboratory validation. It works in real time scenario as well. It demonstrated appropriate interception in this scenario. And we also got to see that the interception was of high speed aerial targets and most importantly at the low altitude which it was present. Now when we are discussing this let us start it from the scratch starting with understanding that who exactly has come up with Akash NG missile system. So when we are talking about Akash new generation it is developed by none other than DRDO defense and research development organization and the manufacturing is also going to be indigenous by Bharat Dynamics Limited. Now this clearly shows that this is a symbol of representation where we have an indigenous seeker, we have an indigenous propulsion system in this missile system and we also have indigenous radar and C2 system. So that means when we are talking about indigenization, this is a classic case study where everything from scratch is coming from our own developer and this shows that we have definitely moved and come far from the point of import substitution and we are readily looking towards system innovation. Now when we talk about the applicability or the usability of Akash new generation missile system, this is where it is filling a very important gap that existed in the medium range. So when we talk about our air defense, it is not a singular air defense that we have, it is a layered air defense that we are creating. And this in layer air defense doctrine, we already had Vishorad, that is very short range air defense system. Now in this, it has been used for drones and helicopters. That means the target which is lying very close to the ground. And in this scenario, this has been another example of indigenous production. Then if we talk about the long range interception, for that also our air defense is equipped with S-400 where we are talking about surface to air missile interception. But when we are talking about the medium range, somewhere between very short range and long range, when we are talking about altitude somewhere between 10 to 25 kilometers and a comparatively shorter range but not very short. So this is where Akash new generation steps in, where it was in this evaluation trial seen that Akash NG has the range of approximately 30 kilometers and the altitude that it can easily target is 18 kilometer and add to that it has a multi-target rapid reaction capability that means it can engage multiple targets and rapid reaction every 10 seconds a missile is launched. 
so in this order when we are talking about a layer defense doctrine the medium range where we did not have a appropriate fixature this is where akash ng has stepped in and the evaluation trial the success of it marks a promising future especially for our air defense now that we have some clarity on akash ng now that is when we will move to understand in detail that what have been the key outcomes of this trial so when we are talking about this trial as i said it was not a laboratory validation session rather it was understanding of the operational feasibility so in this context akash new generation was able to demonstrate successful interception of terrain hugging cruise missiles that means if this is the terrain and the cruise missile is running very close to it such target was intercepted there was simultaneous interception of multiple aerial targets high firing rate every 10 seconds and also stability and accuracy was maintained especially in the low altitude engagement so as an operational feasibility we saw that there is effectiveness against saturation attacks be it through drones or missiles in this scenario now this successful testing also highlights the success of the indigenous building that we have done of the major three components here be it the seeker propulsion radar and c2 systems so when we are talking about an active seeker we have got an rf seeker here which is indigenous which is autonomous and it will have a proper terminal guidance that means if the target is to be procured initially all the missile systems they were guided in this it is autonomous till the end even after being autonomous it has high accuracy and lower radar dependence so it will not be highly dependent on radar which was not seen in initial missile systems furthermore it has better resistance to any electronic jamming which is a frequent defense which is used by cruise missiles which this defense system is going to target in order to intercept or destroy the functioning of the seeker of the defense missile electronic jamming is usually used so it has higher resistance to that as well so in this active rf seeker we do not only get better performance better control stability autonomous working but also better protection and with in home production other than that the second significant making comes of dual pulse solid rocket motor which is the propulsion system now the energy management in this propulsion system happens across flight phases that means depending on the flight phase in which the missile is energy will be utilized accordingly that is why we get to see improved interception of any fast as well as maneuvering targets so if a target is changing its flight it is maneuvering that interception is also possible because the energy management is done by making sure of understanding what flight phase the defense missile is in and then this has also ensured low altitude and better cruise missile capability for the akash ng system other than that when we are talking about radars and c2 systems radar is another high point in terms of indigenization because this is the first fully network centric design before that network centric designs did not exist and this has been integrated with indian air force icacs that is the radar systems that we have that means we will have faster sensor to shooter loop the minute sensor picks it up the defense can be triggered and it can be intercepted on time now that we have understood the features of the mainly indigenized product which make the akash ng a more highlighted achievement now let us move to understand the global attention that we have been talking about the reason this particular defense system has garnered global attention is coming from fact that what india has always been known for for making things affordable at the cost which chandrayaan has made hollywood is making movies about moon missions so this is what we get to see in akash ng as well where we have affordable as well as sanction resilient system this has the lower cost than the western system that means our export competitiveness enhances and this is associated with minimum political conditionalities that is why we are saying this is sanctions resilient 
other than that we also get to see that it matches the modern threat profile the major modern threat profile engages around drones cruise missiles and saturation attacks and akash ng is designed to target very these other than that we also have another reason we get to see a major global attention to this india has had an exceptional export track record especially in recent times for defense goods so when we are talking about defense exports this gives india another huge chance to make their mark because in recent times when we talk about the earlier akash variants they have been exported to be it vietnam be it armenia and this has already built the confidence of the defense goods in terms of reliability in terms of after sale support and akash ng coming into the picture brings india in a position where we can facilitate in terms of medium range surface to air missile systems as well now when we have already mentioned the earlier akash variants let us have a deep dive there as well so that we cover this topic in totality starting with akash mk1 so if we talk about akash mk1 the induction we get to see especially during the mid 2010s and it was one of the first variant which came into the picture here we got to see that the guidance of the surface to air missile was based on command there was nothing related to network there was no autonomous system back then and it only focused on area air defense the problem here was the limitation that we saw in mk1 was the fact that the deployment was very difficult because it was extremely heavy and it was always radar dependent when we came to the next variant that we got to see that was akash mk1s that came almost after a decade into the picture and this is where for the first time we got to see indigenous seeker other than that before that we were dependent in terms of seeker as well which improved our accuracy and also ensured target and utilization of low rcs threats but again we had the dependence on the imports for the same then recently came into the picture akash prime and this is when we saw that the air defense system can be optimized for high altitudes which need to be protected for example ladakh and also cold climates so the use case here was ladakh and this also has been successfully recently tested this very year the whole focus was reliability and usability in this scenario and now comes the next generation model that is running trials as of now so overall what you get to see that the radar dependence over the years and over the models is gradually decreasing autonomy is gradually increasing and akash ng is not something that we can see as a linear upgrade it is rather a radical jump that is going to change the picture for india's air defense scenario and in this context let us move to understanding the significance of akash ng for india because this new successful addition for us is going to enhance indigenous capability and also reduce our reliance on any sort of foreign seekers radars propulsion this will also help in multiplication so when we are talking about enhancing air defense coverage we will be able to do it across multiple threats furthermore we will also find that this will be a great tool for diplomacy and a game changer for our defense exports as well What are your thoughts on this let me know in the comment section that was all from my side thank you so much